can see I'm in the car with me mum. Hi! <laughs> um, first, guys on the ground. <laughs> we're actually on our way to Bristol Airport because we're going to Spain. Um, we decided to book a last minute holiday. When did we book it? hotel uh it is about quarter seven quarter seven uh how long do you think we've been here half hour or so yeah, um pretty easy flight waited for ages to check in um but we are in our room now yeah. we are here um i'm kind of tired and hungry you said it started at seven food yeah um, so we've just been doing a bit of unpacking and just sorting a few things out. I've literally been led on this bed since uh, I've come in. Yeah, I think we're going to get changed, head down for food soon and then go from there. But it's a quite a nice area, lots of like little pubs and, not pubs, but like... Cafe bars. Yeah. And we're really close to the beach as well and... I don't think I said anything, but this hotel has got like an outdoor pool and sun lounge area, but then it's also got a indoor heated pool and like a spa type thing and there's tennis courts and stuff. So hopefully it'd be really nice. We might have a little wander and just see what's about. And then, I don't know, maybe make a plan for tomorrow, see what the weather's gonna be like. I think it was about 18, 19 degrees when we landed. So not super hot, but still much warmer than back home which I'm happy with. Back where I was, Adia, again, this just really distracts me. Um, we went down for food. It was interesting. Um, discovered that, <laughs> not to be offensive or like rude, but it's just full of older people. Yeah, food was okay. I'm gonna see what they do for breakfast. Hopefully they'll do some sort of like cooked breakfast or some fruits or something. We went for a wander to find a shop just to buy some water, some coke and we bought a tub of Pringles and I think we're just gonna, well, mum's gonna have a drink. <laughs> On the body. A bit of vodka um, and I think I'm just gonna find a film or something to watch on Netflix because the hotel's got Wi-Fi which is a good thing. Look at these slippers. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Funny. Oh the huh? unicorns. The unicorn ones. ones are so cute. Unicorn. Cute brushes. It is literally like tiger, but is that a blanket? You put your feet in there. And That's actually really the soft.
What are these? Are they heron type things? He's going to be sulking now, isn't he? Scared. I feel like I'm gonna get like murdered coming in here. Oh, it's okay, they can't get at you, they're behind a screen. They're massive. Why do they always look like they're smiling? It's a false smile to get you to <laughs> They're so cute! Is that a in the Oh, is it a big moat like? Well, no. Hoggy, hoggy. Oh, Hoggy, hoggy. Hello. No? You hiding? Yeah, you can't see me. I can't see you, pigs. you can't see me. Hello! Oh, sniffing his bum. <laughs> That's nice. Baby, baby. He's gonna go back there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hello. That's so cute. Is he coming back? Yeah. He's so gorgeous. He's coming. <laughs> Hello. Is he coming back? <laughs> Be worried if they turn. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh, he's got carrot too, the guy up there. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're oh, so really cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That would be me trying to slide down Grandad's banister when I was little. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, can I have one? <laughs> Hi gorgeous. Hello. Hello. <laughs> But you've seen, we went to, what was it called again, the zoo? Biopark. Biopark, uh, Fungarola, Biopark, Fungarola, something like that. Basically kind of like an animal enclosure, little zoo place, which was really, really fun actually. It was called to see some of the animals there. Some gorillas, little meerkats were so, so cute. The little one that kept like running up by the window was adorable. Snakes, tortoise. Oh, the leopard. Gorgeous leopard. 
really wanted to cut on it, probably would die. Um, it's now about quarter past ten. We, what did we do? Well, we wandered around like Fungarola town, wasn't it? Yep. A bit more. Um, I liked to eat in a lovely coffee shop. Oh yeah, keep forgetting about that. So yeah, we went to the zoo. Afterwards, we came back and went to a little coffee shop and we had, well, you had a baguette. Beautiful toast. And I had like baguette. a toasted sandwich with like, tuna, mayo. Proper coffee. Yeah, well, actually, my cappuccino was really, really nice. Mum had just like a nice milky coffee. Oh, I'm just trying to get comfy. Um, so yeah, we had some nice food and drinks in there. Then we had a little wander, got lost, to be honest, for quite a while. About half an hour. Yeah, we were, we were trying to find a bus stop back. Um, took us a little bit longer than we thought. Couldn't really find it. Street names are really confusing. We've got this map that we've kind of got little dots on from the lady at reception. Um, <laughs> didn't always make much sense, but we managed to find it in the end. So yeah, I'm gonna sort myself out and or maybe find something on the iPad for like a half yeah. hour. She'll fall asleep again. Watch another film so I can fall asleep to it. Every time. Good morning. Today, oh wait, what's the day? Saturday? Is it? 16th. Oh. Today is Saturday. It's mum. Hello. Hi. Um, I can't remember where again what I last filmed. I'm being really bad this week. Yesterday we went to, where did we go yesterday? Miramar. Miramar, that's where we went. Um, I think I filmed a little bit of like wandering around the shops and stuff, which was quite fun. Uh, nice to see some shops from home, but also a few new bits. We stopped for some food. Was it the something burger? Good burger? Good burger? What about the burger? Small burger. I thought it was good. Um, we stopped at, I think it was called the Good Burger for a burger and fries. Very small portion, but it was very nice. It was, so. it was tasty. Not complaining much today. We stopped for a Starbucks as well and a bit of cake, which was lovely. And then we walked back actually to Fungarola town and caught a bus back. We chilled for a while, went down for dinner, and then we went to what was the new place that we were sat in for a drink? Heartbeat. Heartbeat. A new kind of she said it was brand new. restaurant bar. Very posh, very nicely lit. Yeah. Wasn't it? It was um, the most, or well, you said the most inviting kind yeah, of was. place. We had to wander down um, back towards, well, I suppose it's Torre Blanca. Torre Blanca way, because we're kind of like on the edge of Fungarola. Um, but yeah, it was really nice, sat by like a fiery type thing outside and had a drink, met some people who were from England, mm -hmm. um, but have uh, been living out in Spain for about three years, I think they said, they got a little boy. And he was just really, really funny. He um, very smart kid. He said he was 11. Um, goes to a Spanish school now. And it was just really Likes funny. cooking and baking. Yeah, he was just, I don't know, the way, he, the way he spoke as well. Like, I don't know. Just a really nice little kid. Um, and his parents were lovely too. And then we came back, went to bed. Mum snored all night, oh, did my head in. What a cold. Yeah, but you snore at home as well, and I don't think it's the dog anymore. <laughs> She's editing that bit out. No, I think I'll keep that in. Um, but today, yeah, uh, like Mum said, it's Saturday, and we are off to Bel Ben Bella Medna. I don't want to say it. Bel Ben Ben on Ben on Medina Bella Medna. I don't know how you say it. People that way. say Bella Medina. It sounds more Spanish, but the proper way of saying it is Ben on Medna. I don't know. I don't even try and pronounce anything properly. Um, but yeah, we're off to there <laughs> um, for the day. Gonna just see what's about, have a little wander. A little bit unsure on the what we're wearing. So I've kind of just got like a midi dress and big cardigan. Mum's got a long dress, she's got a jacket and we've got our trainers on. But don't know if it's gonna be like windy and hopefully we can stay in the sun. Because it is sunny, but it's just not like hot and the wind makes it cold um but yeah what's the time time mm -hmm. we should be going 11 26 okay we going now
walking through uh, Marbella. Today is Monday so it's our last full day. Sorry if it's quite loud because we are literally right by the sea and I can't tell if this is focused on my face or not but there we go. Uh, yesterday I don't really think I filmed anything but we literally chilled all day. Didn't really do much. We had a massage. Yeah. A spa day. We went for a massage. There was like a a little spa in the hotel we're staying in so we went for a half an hour massage which is really nice and then we used like the jacuzzi and the steam room for half an hour but basically just did nothing had a bit of a rest day that's what sundays are usually for still went for dinner and we went for a drink um don't remember what it's called but further down on like the seafront area was it the wessex bar or would you be from further I than the wessex bar it was a can't. Scottish guy though, wasn't it? Serving. Yeah. Can't Very quite nice, remember. friendly. No, oh yeah, you're Scottish. I thought you were on about something else then. Um, and then just decided that we thought we'd actually come to Marbella. So we got on the bus to Fungarola like station in the middle, and then we got on another bus to Marbella Old Town. We've been walking for a little bit along the gorgeous seafront. We stopped for a drink by would you say it was like a little port a little marina marina area um the sun feels really it is really warm, warm today. today i think it's about 17 degrees so it's quite nice to have like our last full day with a bit of extra sun and thought yeah why not come to marbella because i wanted to go originally like on a separate holiday but it is quite expensive to stay here so just having a wonder we're gonna find somewhere to eat um because this was your know, time roughly i don't know where my phone's gone it's well it's about five to two now actually so we should probably be eating yeah. food, food. we usually have breakfast about quarter to ten lazy day my camera should have really charged it actually but um yeah just gonna enjoy the beautiful sun in Marbella. Hello everyone, so <laughs> as you can probably tell I'm actually back home, I'm the worst vlogger in the world, um, didn't really manage to end off the vlog uh, on the last day that we were in Spain, so I think the last things you saw, we had our last full day in Marbella which was um, really lovely, we got the bus there which I think took about 45 minutes. Um, if you can hear something, it's the bath running because I'm fucking cold. <laughs> um, but yeah, our last full day, we went to Marbella and we had a wander around. We had some really lovely food by the beach with a Copperberg. Um, and then that evening, we pretty much just kind of went back. We chilled for a bit, went downstairs for dinner, um, had a drink and then had a bit of an earlier night. We came upstairs and just watched a bit of a film on my iPad. And then... 
our like last day we were getting picked up at three o'clock in the afternoon so we just decided to have a really chilled morning we went down for breakfast came upstairs started packing our stuff we had to be out of the room by 12 i think we went downstairs at like half 11 maybe quarter to 12 um so plenty of time got all our stuff sorted left our luggage um in one of the rooms down by reception and then just kind of wandered down um each end of the beach uh in Fungarola where we were staying basically like to Torre Blanca side because we were right on the edge but yeah we just had a really nice wander luckily it was really nice and sunny so we just had a sit um on a bench for a while we had a coffee somewhere we came back then and went down the other end and we had some food and then came back got picked up everything was cool with the flight we got to bristol airport i think about 8 p.m yesterday evening uh literally everything was so smooth sailing so really happy about that i had to go and get my car on the way home because uh your gal hit a pillar a few weeks ago um in the same parking space that I park in every day for the past five months <laughs> um, which was really annoying but Rory who I actually bought my car from he's an absolute star um, I just kind of went to him I was like so I know you obviously know a lot of people who can fix cars uh, yeah I've kind of uh, hit mine um, but he sorted it all out for me while I was away so that was brill Got my car, got home, unpacked a load of stuff, had some toast, went to bed, and then I went to work at nine o'clock this morning. Um, but today's not been too bad, so sorry about that ramble. Sorry about being a really bad vlogger. I know this vlog was a little bit here, there and everywhere, but I really hope you guys did enjoy coming along to Spain with me and my mum, seeing a little bit of what we got up to and brightened up your day with a bit of sun that we had because obviously in the UK it's like minus 20 degrees at the moment and we're all freezing and yeah although Christmas is coming soon and I'm gonna plan a couple of fun videos now up until Christmas when I got time I know my uploads have been absolutely shocking and I'm so sorry I really need to just get my life together but it's tough working full-time and trying to put you all into this as well so yeah thank you as always um if you did make it to the end of this video if you did enjoy make sure you smash that thumbs up button and of course if you aren't already please do subscribe for more if you aren't already before you uh click off this face rambling on <laughs> um but yeah i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon bye